This video is brought to you by Scopic.com. Get yours now. Hey guys, welcome back. This is FullFormDK.com and what you see here is the Huawei P10 and it opens like this. And it closes like this. What a click. Anyway, so here is a P10. P10, of course, is the latest flagship from Huawei, and there, of course, is the bigger sibling, P10 Plus, but this is a smaller one, 5.1 inches. Just like the P9 and the P9 Plus, there is a subtle differences between the smaller and the larger one, including the specs and the battery capacity and a slight differences in the camera or whatnot. But anyway, so here is a little packet. There is a manual and stuff, but what you'll need the most is, of course, the SIM card tray removal pin there. And since nobody's going to read up the manual, we're just going to put it there. And there are two boxes there. The bottom one contains the cable and the earphones. The cable, of course, is the USB Type-C, just like the P9 and the P9 Plus. The one side is USB Type-C, and the other way is the Type-A, of course. And naturally, it comes with a pair of earphones that resembles that of the AirPods. AirPods. AirPods, same thing, what are the cables? Anyway, it looks just like the AirPods and this is something that Huawei really needs to fix. They're doing a great job at having some kind of originality and this breaks it, stop it. And here is a charging brick. The phone itself does support the Huawei Supercharge. You'll be able to juice up your phone a lot faster. So that's the packaging and again, close it like this. So we're just going to put it there and the phone itself. They have teamed up with Pantone and this comes in 10 different colors, eight, 10, anyways. Uh, it differs by regions, but there's a lot of colors. There's blue one, there's a green one, white, silver, black, red. There's all sorts of colors that you can probably imagine. And this is how it looks. Compared to P9, it's more rounded around the corners. Let's give you a short comparison right there. What you see on the right is a P9 and P10 on the left-hand side. P9 was a lot more angular on the side edges and it had the chamfered edges, shiny right there. The P10 does not. I like the P9 looks better for now, but P10 does have a better grip because of its rounded corners. Getting back to side-by-side -side comparison with the P9, you see something that the P9 does not have. That is the home key slash fingerprint reader slash navigation key there. While the P9 had the one on the back, the P10 has one on the front, and there's a full version of Huawei logo instead of just the typography there. Arr. While we're waiting for it to get powered on, let's get into the details. This is a 5.1 inch of a display with the full HD resolution receiver and the front-facing camera, but that's not an ordinary front-facing camera. That is the world's first Leica-enabled front-facing camera. With the aperture of f1.9, that is promised to give you some amazing shots with the 3D analytics of your face structure. I haven't tried that yet, but we're going to do that soon. Moving on to the right hand side, there's a power key, volume rocker, and a little antenna slit there. And uh, bottom, USB type C port, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a speaker is right there. Going to the left, there is a SIM card tray. Depending on the configuration, you'll be able to have two nano SIMs or one nano SIM plus one micro SD card. And there is a secondary microphone for your noise cancellation. And that's pretty much it. And those are, naturally, the second generation Leica camera, dual tonality flash, and that's a 12 megapixel RGB plus 20 megapixel monochrome. They morph up the photos together, give you clearer and sharper images. Enough said about the camera, let's go ahead with the settings. Okay, so we're at the home screen, and it does run Android Nougat with the EMUI, as Huawei's proprietary user interface system, uh, EMUI 5.1. The best thing about the MUI 5.1 on Android Nougat is that they finally have the stock launcher with the app drawer. You can switch that to the one with the app drawer. Now you don't have to rely on that iPhone-like launcher that lines up all your icon at once at desktop. So that is the launcher and that is the top status bar. And unlike the older version where they have split the screen, one side for notification and the other side for the quick toggle, this is just like the stock Android. You can swipe and swipe more for more toggles. So Huawei is definitely moving towards the stock er, Android system, and that's the dialer, that's the messages. But what's not so stock about this version of Android from Huawei is that there is an ability to switch the navigation key from the virtual navigation bar, soft key, to off-screen navigation button. So that's back, that's home, that's multitasking, and that also is multitasking, whoops, that also is multitasking, and swipe to inside the screen is Google Now. But as a phone with the Leica co-engineered camera, we have to get into camera, and just like the P9 and the P9 Plus, it does have the color mode there, standard, vivid, smooth, 
and also the aperture mode where you can switch from f0.6 to f16 and it's got 2x hybrid zoom, 4-in-1 autofocus and it takes 4k videos in H.265 format. Some of the other things included in the package is the ultra memory to optimize your memory status and there's also a video template provided by GoPro. There's just too many things to tell you at this unboxing so stay tuned for our review coming very soon and we will see you guys then. Until then, you can meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Google+. We'll see you guys then. Ciao.